CEOs, this is a picture boy CEO. Obviously, I'm back with another video. It's the time of the week, so let's get into it. Message of the week. This is to remind you and in a way regain that focus on those powerful thoughts that you might not always feel in or be present in due to the life you live. This is meant for you to relate with, thus go forth with and applying the message to yourself. Whether you work a nine to five, attend school part-time and or full-time, raising a family of your own, let alone having to be the man of the house or the woman of the house, an athlete, someone who's living paycheck to paycheck currently, dealing with a loss and et cetera. This is just a few things that come to my mind as of right now. Can you get the point? It's meant for everyone and their mamas. Also, I say currently in regard to living paycheck to paycheck because I know you can't and will get yourself out that system. That being said, the message of the week for this week is make sure you're good too. Just like how you check up on others, make sure you do the same for thyself. For instance, you know how you would say you good, you straight to someone when checking up on them. Do so for yourself. Reason being you are the most permanent thing in your life. Thus ensure that you are well acquainted with yourself, with you, yeah, ye. If not you, then if not you will. The reality is what you do next. And with that being said, I have these two screenshots that I feel like go best with what I had to share with you for this week's message of the week. Yeah, you, so let's get into it. The first one says this. You'll never regret focusing on yourself and your mental health. I'm going to say it one more time. You'll never regret focusing on yourself and your mental health. Last but not least, the second one says this. It's never too late. Say it one more time. It's never too late. That being said, basically, 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 if I could speak, um, what I'm just trying to get at in this week's message of the week is uh you know really just take a moment and just embrace the fact that you are going to be there uh through the entirety of your life like you yourself you are the most permanent thing in your life right uh so like appreciate your yourself as an individual just like how you would check up and and make sure that you know your loved ones your bros your sisters are good right Make sure with that same type of love, same type of care, you do so for yourself too. You know, just like how you would come up on to come up to to one of your pals just to check up on them, say, "Hey, how you been?" Do that to yourself. Do so with yourself. You know, you might be feeling anxious, you might be feeling stressed, but sometimes we don't even give ourselves um, the time of day to be like, "Yo, how you doing?" Okay, why do I feel like this? I feel like it's easier to be caught up in other people's lives with others with what others got going on. Sometimes we just be caught up with what we're doing in our day that we forget that we are our own like individuals. Sometimes we forget that we're human too, like ourselves, right? So make sure you're good too. You know, it's it's never too late to do so cuz again, the time that you have is tied to your last breath. Right? And it, and and also it's like you got to realize this, you'll never regret it. You'll never be like, damn, I wish I didn't check up on myself. Damn, I, I wish I didn't take care of myself. Like, who says that? No one says that. You're always like, at the end of the, at the end of the day, when you take care of yourself, take care of yourself, you know what I'm saying? When you get to a point where you weren't feeling better, but now you're getting to a point where you are feeling better. And that's because you used your actions, your efforts, you, you took the time, the time of day to just take a moment for yourself. Like, You'll never regret that. You'll always appreciate that. If anything, that might be a habit that you start to form because you see how 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 impactful it is, how positively impactful it is for you to do so. Some of us choose to deflect, choose to, you know, stay busy in other lives than our own. But it's like, bruh, you're going to be there with yourself through the entirety of your life. So why duck yourself? Why dodge your own problems? take a moment and solve them. Some of us choose to drown ourselves with other people's problems instead of our own problems, thinking that that's a way of not dealing with our own problems, but that's deflecting. Take a moment to just reflect, understand why you feel this certain way. Stop dodging it. You know, it's never too late to do so. If there's something that you've been kind of dodging for the past few years when it and it makes you anxious, take a moment, take today, to be that day where you just even take five minutes and you just start understanding why you feel this way. You'll never regret that. You'll never be like, damn, I wish I never gave myself some time to really just understand my thoughts. Like what? Appreciate yourself. You know, I feel like, yeah, like I'm sure you're a really caring person. I I'm sure you're a very loving person, you know, to those that 
you know, surround you that you have surrounded yourself around. And at the end of the day, be that person for yourself too, you know, be your own best friend too, you know, be that person in, in that corner. Cause, cause some of us, you know, we be rocking solo dolo. We like some of us, we don't even have a person in our own corner. Some of us have to be that person in our corner for ourselves. You feel me? So make sure you're good. All right. With that being said, that's pretty much it. I just felt like sharing with y'all for this week's message of the week. All right. With that being said, keep your heads up, stay up. You know, love yourself. If not you, then if not you will, right? Anyway, shout out to my phone for cutting out right when I was already getting into the outro of the video. Again, nonetheless, it's your boy, CEO Hobbish, and I'm going to catch you tomorrow. Love y'all. Peace.